Hello guys, so I'm continuing Ask Ali series. You can fill in the form, I will leave the link down below, and then I might choose your question to make a separate video about this. So today's question is, noose or nus is asking, hello, my nose is pointed more towards the left side of my face, and the right side is bigger, longer. What can I do to make it look more even? That happens. First of all, all the faces are pretty asym asymmetrical and every person has slightly has a nose slightly on the side. Some noses that are very pointed and pretty sharp, sometimes it can be just slightly more visible because the uh, tip of the nose is normally catching a lot of light. So sometimes when it's catching a lot of light slightly on the side like that, then the person can feel like this is slightly asymmetrical. So one of the things that I can recommend, and actually that is the reason of, uh, you know, work inside of the face and not work inside of the face. So, so there are so many people who are in front of the camera, TV hosts and different bloggers, or just people who just love to get their, their photographs, models and stuff. They know their good working side and not not work inside. So normally that depends on the nose because then as far as the nose is slightly crooked on the side here and then most of people they consider that side is more photogenic for them. That side like when the nose looks away because it creates here the outline of the nose it just goes straight and then it creates that little bump upwards here on the nose. If they are turning their head like that that way then this way it just creates that more downturned nose, slightly more downturned nose. This is one of the reasons why people choose their work inside or not work inside. And actually, I know people who, on contrary, they love their work inside where the bump or where the nose looks slightly down there, just because they want their nose just to look, I don't know, more serious, maybe, that makes their face look more uh, sophisticated, more elegant probably, rather than that upturned nose. So as I can see this, many people, they're just choosing more how they like it, how they prefer it, how they feel better. And it actually doesn't connect very much to that that is more beautiful and that is less beautiful. That's not the case normally because everybody perceives it differently. If you're really struggling, if you really want it just like not to show it that much, we might think first that I will recommend you to just to do those contouring nose, like two straight lines uh, down there with a brush, with a little brush. We, we can try to do this. So that's how many people do this. They take a small brush and uh, the most important thing, the light should shine on your face very evenly. Otherwise, it just won't work. We get symmetry in our makeup only if we have the light source right in front of our face and we don't need any extra light sources that are from our back, from the side here, from the side here. And uh, even if you have the most symmetrical face, it will make it more asymmetrical if you don't set up your light correctly. So the most important, probably the best thing if you go to the window but you're standing right in the center of this window not slightly to a side don't turn your head to to a side it's very very important you can't even imagine how important that is only if the light is shining directly to the center of your face only in this case you will make your you will do your makeup very even very symmetrical so what you're doing with um a contouring powder that is not a very contrasted color with your face i would recommend to do something like just a one little tone darker than the rest of your face otherwise it will be, look just two stripes or dirty spot but it just depends on what kind of makeup you do if you go in for every day probably it should not be that dark if you're going for the evening maybe darker would be fine or maybe if you're doing it for the photo session or for the photos or for the evening so that's just a different thing so basically what makes every nose more even is those straight lines that you are creating here and here, you're creating those straight lights with your contouring powder. Then you kind of connect them here. And then what many people do, they slightly blend it down here, but not too much. What other people do, they take light concealer or lighter powder and they create same line, but right there in the center of their nose, thin straight line. And then when you're doing this, this is the trickiest part for you specifically, for people with asymmetrical nose, because sometimes people are st start following their nose shape and then they just go slightly on the side here and what they create a, a light bended line. 
And that's what we don't want to do. So this is my personal tip and my personal recommendation. I will just show you this trick with the light powder. I'm taking a very small brush. So I'm creating that straight light line from probably in between my brows, creating that light straight line like that. And I don't go to the tip of my nose. I don't go to the tip of my nose. I stop somewhere here before it gets bended. I stop somewhere here. That's my light line. Then I'm taking contouring powder and bigger fluffy brush. It should be very clean, fluffy brush. Take the excess off. And then I'm applying it like that. On the side here, and it goes slightly on the tip itself. On the side here, it goes slightly on the tip itself. And like that, on the tip. So in this case, that whole situation with slightly bended lines is just not going to be visible, noticeable, because it will be kind of slightly in the shadow. It will be all same color, slightly darker color. It will look like, especially, it, it, it works good if you have some uh, contouring powder on the sides of your face just to make it more uniform looking. But what is happening is that you're making that in the shadow. Everything that is in the shadow is just, it, you don't have any contrasted colors in here. Because what is making the nose slightly looking on the side? Light and shadow two areas. One area is lighter, another area is darker. If we keep that contrast, that will exaggerate any shape. So if we whether make it all lighter or make it all darker, make it all look like a shadow, then you won't, the shape itself won't be recognizable and as pronounced. So that is my recommendation for you. And also that, that will look like your nose is slightly tanned. You know, you got, just got some sun. Now, it can be slightly weird looking if you have lighter part here and then here it's darker. So what you can do, the rest is left. You just on top like that. And the whole nose will be slightly on a shadow, slightly one same color like that. You won't create any exaggeration with any contrasted colors here unless, again, you're doing video, you're doing photo session. There, you can do whatever you want. You can draw the lines in your face. It, just, it will just depend on how well you're blending and how, um, how well you trained your hands. If you can't do it first three, four, five times, that's fine. You will be able to do it. It's just a little bit of practice, believe me. But that trick will be great for the daytime. Another thing that you can do, if you don't want to use contouring powder, you can use matte blush, which would not be lighter than your skin, preferably. Same tone as your skin or slightly darker, uh, matte blush. Again, same thing here, but also on the cheeks here. It will, again, it will look, it, it will mattify slightly. It will not reflect light as good. And then the, the, the color itself will be slightly darker here. It won't reflect light as good. And also we won't have any all those different colors in there. So we, again, the shape will be not pronounced in this case. All right, that's it. I hope you liked it. I hope that helped. Please let me know in the comments if you tried it and if that helped. So I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm going to leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos, and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.